When the world was tough, you made it better. That's what Islamic Relief USA donors do. Kaiser, in Iraq, both his brother and father were killed in front of him. He left his home with almost nothing. Islamic Relief USA donors relieved his worries about finding food. <laughs> Manavi lost her house when a huge earthquake flattened her village in Nepal this spring. Islamic Relief USA donors gave her food and emergency shelter. I'm so happy. You help me and you help my countries and people. I'm so, so, so happy and thanks a lot. Amina never even met her father who was killed in the war in Bosnia. With the sponsor's help, she has thrived, and now she's studying economics at the university. In my life, in the future, I want to be a donor also. Because I know how is it to receive it in the time when you really need it from someone who actually doesn't know you, but helps you for the God's sake. Each of us is only one person. We can't solve the world's problems, but we can make one person's world better one family's world. And for that one family, it means everything. When we work together, little by little, we make the whole world a better place. You're making people's world better from Gaza to Syria to Pakistan and here in the United States too. Janan took her five daughters away from the dangers of the war in Syria. You helped them stay warm in the long cold winter. You repaired Joel Dick's home after it was badly damaged in Bosnia's floods last year. In the U.S., a zakat donation helped Abdulaziz's family with rent during a tough time. That allowed them to move out of their car and back into a home. I had nothing. We have nothing now, but we have a home. It's what you make it. We got a community of brothers with us, and it just feels good to be loved by somebody. Alhamdulillah, you give shelter and health care. You give education and job training and business support. When people are in their greatest time of need, you're there with food. In Ramadan, your food packages allow people to focus on worship instead of worrying about how to feed their family that night. This year, for the first time, Ramadan food packages are available in the United States, too. The food is nice, very nice. Thank you so much. <laughs> Muchísimas gracias. Most of all, your help brings strength and hope. Nassim Bibi's husband died because they couldn't afford the medical care he needed. She started doing menial labor at a school to try to give her children both food and education. Then sponsors stepped in to help with the children's basic needs and donors provided classes so she could learn to sew. Mara's mother is desperately hoping for someone to make her little girl's world better. Mara is from Gaza and her father died when she was a baby the one who told her stories and protected her. There's barely enough money for food, and Mara needs an expensive injection every week for her epilepsy. Her mother is hoping an orphan sponsor will help Mara get what she needs and makes the little girl's world better. Siham's world is still very much broken too. Her family left Syria to find safety in Jordan a few years ago. They can't work there, and they are barely getting by. If they go home, they could be killed. If they stay, they could die of starvation, heat, and cold. Islamic Relief USA donors brought relief into their world. When the winter was too cold, you brought warmth. You gave them the clothes they're wearing, a gas heater, blankets, and the knowledge that someone remembers them someone cares. 
Islamic Relief USA is in over 30 countries making a difference with your help. Whether you can help one person or 100. Join her. Join him. Join them. Join us. Give together for a better world. Islamic Relief USA, working together for a better world.